Lee's research into specimens collected by Meyer and Jared Diamond led him to the perfect test case, the black monarch flycatchers of small Santa Ana Island, just four miles from the brown-bellied flycatchers on the large island of Makira. It is very surprising to us that they are that different. And so we focus on that group because we would want to study a population where they're close enough where they might actually come into contact with each other. Were the color differences between these birds a sign that speciation was in progress? To answer that question, we needed to determine whether monarchs recognize other birds with the same color as members of their own species. Like many songbirds, monarch males and females fiercely defend their territories in the forest. Intruders that have the same appearance are potentially competitors, both for food and for mates. So imagine a situation when you're, you're sleeping, quietly at night, things are great, and you hear a noise downstairs. Well, what do you do? If you were uh, an alpha macho male, clearly what you would do is grab a baseball bat and check out what's going on downstairs. And if it turns out to be an intruder, you will attack. What we've done is mimic an intruder coming into your house or your territory. Uwe found monarch territories and presented the resident birds with a taxidermic mount, a replica, either of a bird from the same population or from another population. And to make the bird feel more realistic, we would also have to play the song that accompanies the physical appearance of the bird so that the living bird would think that the dead bird the taxidermy bird is actually alive. What we found is that they really attacked the mounts of birds that look like them. So for chestnut birds, they attack chestnut mounts. For black birds, they attack black mounts to the point where they would try to tear up and, and pull the feathers and knock the taxidermy mounts down to the ground. In the birds' furious battles with their simulated foes, Uwe sees a telling pattern. Yes, color is important. Regardless of how you interpret it, color is affecting the way they interact, and, and they're using it to recognize members of their own species. The next inference is that this is a mate choice issue, a competition for mates issue. The flycatchers don't seem to recognize differently colored birds as members of their own species. They're much more likely to attack birds that look like themselves, 